You've probably seen captivating images like this before and wondered how they were made. The way we're able to construct fascinating worlds like this is with a key feature in Photoshop called layers. At the core, layers are just multiple images stacked on top of one another. Let's look at this practical example. This image of a green landscape lives on one layer, and these images of various birds, leaves, and vines are located on other layers. By stacking layers like this on top of one another, you can create worlds that otherwise exist only in your imagination. Every document you work on in Photoshop, whether it is something fantastic or something as simple as a line of text, is made of layers. So it's important to understand a few key layer basics. First of all, why is it a good idea to use multiple layers rather than putting all of your content on one layer? Well, let's look at our example. What if you want to make this flamingo bird bigger without changing the rest of this image? You can do that easily because the flamingo bird is on its own layer. That's why layers are so important. They give you independent control over every element in your image. Now that you know why layers are so important, let's look at how they work. One or more elements of your project, like photos, shapes, or text, live on different layers. Like the panes of glass in old cartoons, if any area of a layer is empty, you can see through it down to the content on the layers below. Now that you know how layers work, let's take a look at how you'd actually use them. In this tutorial, we'll introduce you to the Layers panel, which is a hub for all things layers. You'll learn how to hide and show content in a Photoshop document by turning the visibility of layers on and off. This comes in handy to explore design alternatives as you build an image. It's also a good way to remind yourself of what's on that particular layer. Something you may already be familiar with from other apps you have used is the ability to move content forward and backward. You can achieve that in Photoshop by dragging layers up or down in the Layers panel. And you probably know from using other software that you need to select content in order to work on it. You click on a layer in Photoshop's Layers panel to select the layer. Or you can select the layer by clicking on the canvas if the Auto Select Layers option is checked. With the layer selected, whatever edits you make will affect whatever content is on that layer. So let's recap. Layers are the building blocks of every document in Photoshop. They're essential to creating exciting designs and captivating images. The biggest benefit of layers is they let you work independently on different pieces of content. And the Layers panel is where you'll spend most of your time working with layers. Now is your turn. Start this tutorial with step-by-step -step instructions to practice making your very own composite images.